Yo, you too. Uh, you can see by the title of the video, man. I was right once again, bro. I can't make this shit up. I can't make this shit up, bro. I made a whole video about Chopper, man. I made a whole video. He went through his little phase, man. He did what he had to do. I want you guys to realize, though, man. It could be two things going on with, bro. It could be two things going on with, bro, right now. So, one... He might have been a puppet to make spirituality look fake or make a make a mockery out of it. Like I said in the last video, everybody was laughing at Chopper, making spirituality look dumb, making him look crazy when he was pushing all the vegan shit. Or it could also be he's going through what everybody on the spiritual journey go through, bro, ups and downs. Where it's a battle between the new life and your old one. Where you start to miss old shit that you used to want to do. You start to fall off of your spiritual journey. As some might say. That could be what he's going through. But I want you to realize, man. I said this shit in the last video, bro. I caught this shit. Not the last video, but the video I made about Chopper months ago. I caught the bluff. I knew the shit was fake. I called this shit. I called it. And it's sad, bruh. He young. It's sad. It's as if he hopped on a wave thinking it was gonna give him some excuse me, some amount of clout or that he wasn't getting for music. I saw the shift slowly. When he told everybody on Twitter the old the old uh chopper is back. So and so this, so and so. It's like he threw away everything he already had. I was right. I was right once again. Everybody called me crazy for it. Everybody said I was fucked up. Looked at me dumb. I was right, man. I seen between the lines, bro. The video I, I'm talking about, I will put in the description, man. But uh, protect yourself, man. Uh, last night, I was going on a rant on Instagram. I was just pretty much talking about being alone and shit. Like, a lot of us have become alone. A lot of us might go through shit, and we might not feel the people we want there are there. You know, like, we go through a whole bunch of bullshit. A lot of us might lose a lot of loved ones through death. And it puts a fucking toll on us because we feel as if, okay, everybody we get we get close to just leaves. Whether it's through death or just, they just leave. And so, most of the time, all we want is love. And I used to always bash motherfuckers for going on Instagram to express themselves. But I realize now, like, that's their cry for help. They want that attention. They, they feel like they, they get that dopamine and that attention they deserve from Instagram because all those comments, all those people... It's fucked up, man. It's fucked up. But, um... All I can tell you guys is this. I don't know what you guys are going through. I don't know. But I, I just want you guys to just to keep pushing, bro. Keep being you. Keep pushing. Never give up. And you don't have to be like everybody else to be great, bro. You don't got to be like the next man. Just be yourself. Once you become yourself and stop worrying about what other people think about you or other people's opinion or how other people view you you find a hack of life with just happiness man and that's all that matters in this life happiness to make yourself happy so i love each one of you guys man i hope each one of you guys are just doing the great to yourself not for me but to yourself i'm not giving up on you so don't give up on yourself man peace love and namaste